This is the ship that threatens to cause an environmental disaster. A cargo vessel carrying 1,700 tons of oil and hundreds of containers, some of them holding toxic materials. The vessel ran aground three days ago just off the coast of the New Zealand city of Taronga, a popular tourist destination. Half of it jammed on a reef, the other half is still in the water, which means it could actually split in two. Oil seeping from the ship has already caused a five kilometer long slick. The government is trying to disperse the spill by spraying chemicals on it, while other crews race to remove the remaining oil from the vessel. New Zealand's environment minister says his country faces its most significant maritime pollution disaster in decades. Many are angry at the authorities' slow response. When you look at this out here, nothing seems to be done at the moment. I would think they'd be offloading fuel or something, surely. Marine life has already been affected. Environmentalists say thousands like these birds are at risk if the situation is not dealt with quickly and before the weather worsens. The government insists, however, it is doing all it can. You've got a, a number of uh, quite significant variables here. One is the state of the ship itself, and they're doing the work at the moment to, uh, to, to basically um, come up with the answers as to what they can do based on, on how, the, how the ship is. Uh, and have divers down there today, and they're doing all the work around uh, preparing their plan uh, to, get the, uh, to get the oil moved. Uh, they also are working on it uh, in terms of capping the tanks temporarily uh, in case the ship should break up in the interim and, uh, and then uh, evaluating shifting uh, oil that's in some of the more vulnerable tanks to, uh, to the better ones as well as getting the uh, oil off the, off the ship which of course we'd all like to wave our magic wands and do that immediately. Earlier this year Australian authorities detained this exact same vessel citing a number of safety violations including cracked and rusted parts. That fact could anger many who believe this situation could have been prevented and are hoping that this potential environmental disaster does not become a reality. Jamal Al-Shayal, Al-Jazeera.